another beautiful day here in Big and Smooth. And look at this. It's like the gaming gods have smiled upon us, if you even believe in the gaming gods. This looks like a very old peanut butter factory looking out over our new town of Big and Smooth. <laughs> no, it was actually here. I didn't put it in, so I can't claim it. But it was already here, like as part of all, well, not that, but part of all this sort of shipwreck stuff. So I'm kind of going to claim it as the uh, the old Big and Smooth Town Factory. Uh, I think it's cool. We might make a bit of a feature out of it. We'll get to that later. However, welcome back, gang, to the Big and Smooth um, playthrough. I've actually gone ahead and I've got a uh, prop remover mod in to remove a lot of those big blowout billboards that we had around here. And I think it just adds a level of detail that's not going to blind us. A couple of things. We've got some sinking cars in here. I think we've got a bit of a problem where this junction hits here. If I just speed up... We have a look when a police car may come out. Here we go. Here we go now. Watch this. It'll sink into the road and dip up and under. It's like it goes in the... Yeah. And I don't know what's going on with this car. Like, they've broken down. That's not where you park there, champ. So, we're going to do a quick fix here. We are going to get rid of that bit of road. And maybe that will just do it, you know. Let's have a look. Uh, I just want the dirt bit of road back. All right, that seems to have got that. I think that's fixed. Let's, we've got a car here that's going to test it out for us. Yep, that seems right. That seems much less sinkier. <laughs> okay, maybe there's just a really muddy spot there. Right, so as it would have say, uh, we can go and buy another square of land here. I'm not going to do it just quite yet. But what I want to kind of draw your attention to is the motorway. Motorways play a very big key in dishing out your suburbs. Motorways and uh, highways or large roads. We already know that we've got a large road running up there, up there, and across there. Sort of squaring that off. And we're also going to have it running down that way. Right, they're just our large suburb roads. But when it comes to motorways, this motorway is going to potentially extend through this way. Come around like that and like back that way and potentially it's going to link back up with this point just here all right so that's kind of what i'm thinking at the moment in terms of the motorway uh just to bring you a heads up and that will kind of be how this this gets down into there and you can start divvying up your like suburbs and your locations and that sort of stuff so um i'm not going to go ahead and put it in yet because what i'm actually probably going to do is potentially I'm potentially going to raise the roundabout up off the ground or I'm going to raise the motorway to go like a flyover over the top of the roundabout uh, and have the roundabout underneath the motorway and then have off ramps and on ramps accordingly. So that's probably what I'm thinking when it comes in terms of that roundabout and the motorway that will fly through that way. We're a bit of a ways off that yet. The other thing I'm trying to keep in mind here with these gaps is future support for rail networks and that sort of jazz as well. Okay. Now, one thing we haven't actually looked at here while we're going is our uh, is our natural resources. Okay. We actually haven't even taken a look at that third episode in. So we can see here we've got oil. We've got some uh, ores over around here in the blue sectors. Forest where we can see the forest. We can see the forest through the trees and we've got fertile land now down here there's actually a lot of fertile land which draws me to the attention of do i want to turn that into a bit of farming land well i didn't really i wanted to actually make some pretty sort of um cityscapes along the water edges and keep the farming areas for more rurally sort of uh inlandy bits so i think i still might do that this might become a bit of a farming sector over here and over here potentially um Oil industry is probably, we, we lucked out there. We got really, I mean, we didn't luck out. We got actually lucky because we put our industri industry here and right there. And we can probably run some rail connection to it somehow. And even a port system potentially, if that even hooks up to the port for us. So we got a little bit lucky there, I will say. However, uh, the other thing we've got to consider is the forestry. Because we probably will get a forest, maybe... I don't know yet. We're going to have to really sort of play it by ear and see how the town unfolds. Like, as much as I kind of have a plan, I don't have a plan. I, I do like to freelance a lot of stuff when it comes to building this. So, regardless, let's crack on 
with what we got going um, you can see we've got uh, very shiny sort of afternoon sunlight on these buildings and the sun's really glaring into the buildings on this side of the map okay uh, we'll, we'll manage um, the other thing I did manage to dig to get the proper mod to remove those and I also picked up another tool that I knew I was missing as well and that was my uh, network multi-tool this is the tool I was trying to think of that I needed to use that I'd been missing I love this this little Swiss Army knife thing is fantastic uh, for the moment, let me just check this though. Let's see if this works now with the option that I actually got. Hmm. Do that for me. <coughs> Excuse me. Markings. Ah, there we go. It is that one. Right, so that's how we turk the, turn the crosswalks off. Turk it off? Yeah, that's how we turk it off. Turk it off. So let's go ahead and turk, turk all those off. <laughs> turk all those markings off. All right, that's going to help us. We don't want people crossing the road on these uh, on these nodes. By the way, do that and then turk them off. All right. Good job. And one more over here. Even though it's going to get a mix up, people shouldn't be walking there. They should be driving or public transporting. In the end right it is probably going to annoy some people that they can't walk this way now walk this way get a car or catch a bus and we'll sort out buses and stuffs very soon for these people too so they can start transporting around i mean a little bus work network now is probably not a bad idea but we won't do it right so we've got our emergency services going on we've got a bit of a car park i kind of want to extend this car park down the side here where is my car park button? It's under my roads. Oh, we're going this car park, by the way. I I am kind of digging it. I'm kind of okay with that. Once again, though, a little bit strong on the actual... Can't... Uh, yeah, yeah. On the actual corner of the car park. I would have preferred it just like a smooth sort of. Yeah, maybe we'll try that. I mean, it's, it's, it's okay. It's just a way to get into the next car park sort of area. And then we can have some more buildings and stuff out the back here. Potentially, what I put, should be doing is moving that host, that uh, this out the back here. But I, I kind of like that there and I want to leave it. Uh, but we put some probably some more commercial out the back here though or potentially even a shopping mall in the later date uh, I will move you just a touch yeah, Thank you right, Lovely uh, Car park wise we can add more car park. I suppose we probably should if we're gonna have this in Otherwise it looks a little bit silly that we haven't um, I might add some Disabled there. Some electric as well. And then just a one space for there. I'll just free I'll just free that one. Okay, it can just fill in that cap. Uh, as for along here, it can just have regular. Okay, and I'll leave a little you know what? No, I won't. I won't have that there. I'll leave that end one. That'll be fine how it is. That's a lot of parking. Uh, right. We also got parks and stuff last time. I want to go over here and check that out. We will. How's our power doing? Let's check our power. Power consumption's good. Water is getting down there a little bit, but we do have the option to turn the water rates up. Now, we are making all right money at the moment too. So, we don't need to worry about that too much. Just turn my volume down. It was really loud. Uh, I don't know if I have football fields or basic sort of field parks here yet at the moment. Uh, I've got basketball courts, tennis courts. What is that? That is a multi-story decorative car parking lot. Don't need those yet. Pedestrian plaza areas. Tourism leisure. We don't need that. Sidewalk cafe. I mean, who doesn't want a sidewalk cafe? All this stuff we can put in. A tiny playground. Which that is tiny. 
<laughs> it's been a while since I've looked at these uh, mods and props. I'm looking for the uh, football fields specifically. I know that they do have them. Look, in the meantime, let's start making people happy by getting in at least a tennis. But this is going to be like a sporty sort of center. I may, I may even have to just go get a mod for it, to be honest. Um, where's the ability now? Oh, that's the hotel section. That's the props. Park maintenance. There's a park maintenance building. Uh, hmm. Natural reserve. I don't want natural reserves. Zoos. Ah, oh, here we go. City park. I'm an idiot. I know it says city park, but hey. Um, I don't know why you're grinning like that. Because you're a par. Right, okay, so city park, how are we going to do this? Uh, well, I'm not going to do you there for starters, because that's going to be the football field area. We're going to do it over here. And potentially run it through that way. Well, maybe we do it here first then. Okay, we'll do it here first, seeing as we've got this. We said this first. So, it's the first city park. I guess we're just going to keep it simple, Simon, here. Uh, I'm going to put in a road like that. Then I can move, I can move these roads around. To be like at the start of wherever I want it. So, might, maybe I'll just make it like there. But realistically, it's probably a better idea having it off that footpath near the school. Sure. We'll, we'll do with that. We'll go with that. Um, give me that. Okay, we're going to have to squeeze down this way. Yep. It'd be better if there was a dirt path, you know. Which there isn't. There's a park fence. We will put... We will put, No, I'm not even going to put a park fence in. Um... This is not really playing the game I want it to. I'm not winning at this game. You're too busy trying to snap. How do I turn you off snap? Ah, ah, ah. Ham, ham wins again. Uh, well, actually, 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 go back. I did say... Right, that I was going to do that, and then we're going to do this. You know, we might just leave you like that, okay? Uh, in terms of fence, I will put a fence in like this. Yes. How do you want to do that? Well, just like that, basically. And then straight down here. I'm just going to leave that there for the minute because I don't know exactly how I want to finish that off. In terms of park life, we don't have much unlocked. That's about it. Okay. We'll get more stuff later. But that's kind of the start of how I want to do that. Do I have the ability to place some trees in just free, free mode trees? Which, if I don't, I need to get those. But I think I do. Yeah, yeah. Cool. So, bish bash bosh. Tree in that corner. The trees here like that. 
Uh, we'll get another big, big one. Get a big one in. Big one there. And a big one on this end. Right, what else have we got? Right, a couple around here. And see, look, we got people using that already as little thoroughfares, so that's really happy. We've got a big sort of ditchy bit down here, which I'm actually thinking about deleting this. Re-putting that in, back in, but I kind of, when I just saw before, was sidewalk restaurant. Now, I don't want sidewalk restaurant. I want sidewalk cafe. Tiny playground. Oh, uh, these are part of the dark hotels and retreats. Props. No. Well, I kind of wanted Sidewalk Cafe. Which we don't have unlocked yet. So I might save this for a cafe section just here. Uh, yeah, but that's kind of the first part of our... Yeah, see, people are using the parkway. Eventually we can charge them and that sort of stuff when we get that unlocked further. Bit of a step here that I'm not really digging. I wonder if I can use this on it. Slope it? No, slope doesn't help. Flatten it. Uh, more options. I don't want to stretch it. Yeah, I'll leave it because I don't. I'm not fully versed up with how to get that. A bit of a step set, not bad. We'll probably end up getting sued by someone for tripping over like a trip hazard, but. You get that on the big ones. I think for the time being, that's going to be enough. I probably wouldn't mind a few more little bits and odds and ends and pieces like... Uh, is there any... Yeah, like... Uh, that's a nice one. Hey. Oh, that's lovely, those ones. Yeah, I like, I like a bit of the pink colour in there to mix it up. Hey, uh, yeah. I'm all about the park decoration stuff, mind you, and, and the, getting the place looking good. If this is one of our founding parks. I want to make it look good, you know. And let's get to one of those there. All these, of course, will catch on fire. And Josh will laugh. <laughs> uh, and, uh, yeah, well, sure, why not? That in there. A bit of something funky and like these along it because... These look good along the path edges. And if you don't think you if you don't think they do, you're wrong. Basically, you're wrong. Okay. Like that. Lovely. That'll do us at the moment. And that sort of you can start to get a sense how that fills out the little parking areas. Now, if we actually I want to do something here which probably goes against me but it's just to see if it is actually going to work and that is the large uh do i want the four lane road i probably need to get some road mods too if we're going to do this but here's hoping hey might need to do some fixing here but better get better to get this in now before we start really going gangbusters with the decorative stuff because you can see how much that car park's just been taken over uh you know i'm not opposed to it <laughs> i'm also not for it because of this all right let's fix all this up this was always going to happen uh this however we can just move this ourselves we're gonna move you we're gonna move you Uh, you know what? It might be better just to put a new one in. Even though we just did that at the start, I think we're just going to put a new one in. Sorry for your loss. In fact, if I take that out... No, it is all gone. Okay, cool. Right. Uh, that can get a lift and a shift over to here. Back off the street. We might actually give them a little car park themselves, I think. 
it had to be done right because yeah it just had to be done now rather than later because if, we, if we're going to get stuff established in here we kind of need to do it sooner rather than later now that's going to go too I'll just redo the car park. I didn't think it would actually do that. I thought it would push it out, but hey, we live and learn, right? We all live and learn. Let's get our car park back in here and we can adjust it how we want it. I don't... Look, as much as I think I want it over there, I don't think I do want it over there. Yeah, yeah, what's going on there? Game's got a mind of its own sometimes. But you, why don't you just come straight off there for me, buddy? Fix all that up shortly. Uh, fix it all up now, actually. The rain's really not helping. I'm going to turn some of these crosswalks off. Like, that many crosswalks is ridiculous. Um, so, for instance, these ones here. Let's go with off for that side. Uh, and we'll turn, we'll just have those ones on and those ones on. So, once again, that. And then we'll come down here. And the markings will be that one. No. That one? Yeah, that one. Okay. Okay. So we'll just say, oh, maybe we should make it the outside one. Yeah, okay. That'll be better. That'll be the better one. Right, uh, also, I think the node looks all right. The, the zines have kind of stuffed up a little bit, but... Uh, you're okay, I think. I'll kind of let, I think we'll leave it. Um, let's see if you got slope. Slope on me, touch better. That's okay. I wish the rain would go away. It probably would make it easier to see things, but we'll see how it looks when the rain's gone. Okay, let's get our car park sorted back out, hey? I can fix that. Take that back to there. Right, so that's what we did last time. We took that back right down to there. Right, get that nicely there. Right, that looks good. Uh, and then watch the police car. will probably sink in there, but we'll check it. Hey, oh, yeah, it's not too bad, actually. It worked. It worked fine. Actually, okay with that. Oh, man, the rain is so heavy. It's so hard to see. It's coming down like cats and dogs. <laughs> the good thing is here, I will actually put a bit of a fence thing up there now as well. Right. I think we should now get you hooked up to there. Good to see the police are just taking initiative and just driving on the dirt. Hey, that's that's what you want. Right. That's got things looking a bit better. I, it was about time we had to put that upgrade in, I think. We just had to do it. Uh, what am I doing? Car park. Uh, I think we'll... I don't know why you want to snap there, but I don't want you to snap there. You can have... Um, some disabled parking here. And... There. Vice of the... Uh, well, we still may extend that around the corner yet. Okay. You can go there for your electrics, and the rest can be... Perfect. Okay, like that. Uh, well, actually, no, if that's going to be a driveway... Leave that as a drive for them. And same here, that actually has to be a drive out there for them. So we might even move... The disabled spots to be like here. Yeah, that works better for us, right?
I'm just going to go with that. So that gives them the ability to drive out of here, and it gives them drive out range. Okay. Gosh, I hope the rain goes away shortly. Let's speed things up, see if it goes away. All right, what's, what's our Chirper got going on? Local government in the city is planning to build more industry. Unemployed welder. Hashtag welder. Uh, yes, we do need more industry. 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 We've got uh, good money coming in. You're 17% full. Go back to our regular roads here. Oh, the old regular dirt. Uh, I'm going to turn snapping back on. So, we're pretty much going to mirror this, I think. Right? Uh, and then you literally come down this one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then you keep going out. So, yeah, we'll just keep it mirrored for the moment. Mate, it's an industrial area. They're pretty same, same, you know, when you think about it. Pipe-wise, we've got to lay some pipe. That's not a uh, euphemism. I mean, literally, lay pipe. Okay. Okay. That's good. And then uh, power-wise, you should just suck straight off the other power. However, let's check the budget here for a sec and crank up the power. Now, I know this episode has been a lot about doing some of the upgrading stuff, but I said last time out we were going to do some parky sort of stuff and just mess around with a few things today. Um, so I, I really want to make sure we do that. I'm just going to crank you up to 130%. See what that gives us. Plenty. All right, because the industry will suck it down heaps. You can have all that, but I want this tool, please. And you can have all of that. Right. Uh, sure, I'll give you that too. That's a lot. Don't spend it all at once. <laughs> okay. Uh, now, <clears throat> excuse me. For our stuff out here... We could put some kind of shopping center in here, couldn't we? What well, we could. What's going on with this land, by the way? I'll, like, allow it for the moment. You can have that. You can actually have a bit more up the back here. Hey, okay, that's got you guys enticed. What do we switch those buildings out for? You know, I gotta be honest, I don't know what this building is because I've, I think I've, oh, we've moved the dino down to the corner here. Uh, that's not a bad thing, actually. Little tiny house. I want like a row of those, I just want a heap of those houses. Right, now we can move you, and we can give this dino station a little bit more room. Not typically how I would put the dino state. like, you'd think it would sit that way with the Bowsers facing that way. Typically. And in fact, what I want to do is I want to move you over to there and you to here. And you can be, like, angled on the corner a touch. And that's probably a little bit better. Do I have... No, 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 no. Oh, that's not helpful. Oh, I mean, well, I've got pavement here, but I don't want it. I want, um... Uh, I thought that was a paintbrush kind of tool. Maybe i just not fine. Maybe I'm just not looking in the right places at the moment. That's bloody disasters. We don't want that. 
Yeah, I'm not looking in the right places for what I want. I'm just going to fix up that path eventually, that's all. Uh, I think I do it with a bit of painting and stuff, but I'll get there later. Right, let's keep uh, cracking on because uh, the suburb's going well, but we're sort of getting nowhere. But I say nowhere, but we've put in the main road. The first main road has been established in the town. All right, so don't get me not going anywhere. This car park, by the way, that's actually quite nice. I don't mind it. I actually don't mind it. And you see the, the amount of uh, space that that takes up as well. This road, it really chunked up a heap of that land. And it's going to do the same when we upgrade this road down this way. That's why I needed to leave a bit of gap. Um... A little bit happier like that. I'm just going to fill all that in. See what you come up with in the future. Okay, cool. Uh, no, you can't have that. Okay. Let's crack on. I'm just trying to figure out how I'm going to do best out the back here. Because if this is going to be some shopping sort of district down here, I want... One, two, three, four, that. And in fact, it, oh, that's no good. That's no good at all. What are you? Ah, that road's not, uh, all right, it's not going to link up with that one. It'll only link up with, it won't. Well, it's actually divided regardless, isn't it? Yeah, you're just going to do, okay, we just have to cop it. I am going to bring that car park around now, again, like we had it before. Sorry, I know this might be not the most exciting, but trust me, eventually you'll go, well, that actually came out pretty good, really, that really does look good, because we are going to put a heap of shops and stuff down this way, maybe I'm just going to leave it for the moment, because I'm in a bit of two minds about it, maybe we actually put something like out the back here, where I was thinking originally, so if we look at this, that's a bit, that's a bit big game, <laughs> try this one, that's even still a little bit big, but yeah, you're going to destroy that, aren't you? Tell you what, get it in where you want it. Right. I want it like that, out the back of these shops, basically. Uh, yeah, happy with that. Pigs in mud. Right. Give me that. That works. That works. Is, is there going to be an entrance out this way? Yeah, there is. Now, it is the car park on a hill. Be aware. Um, how are you going to do that? Straight up to there. Straight up to there. In fact, I reckon we should probably extend that further than. If you're going to have a car park, have it properly. I knew you, I knew you were going to do that, but that's okay. The building will re it'll it'll come back, okay? It'll come back stronger than ever. If they want it, if they want it that bad, they'll come back. I don't want you there. You have to be here. You have to be there because we don't want. Remember when I said we don't want this many intersections, right, on these roads? Roundabouts are so good. Now you know why I love roundabouts. How are we doing power-wise? Uh, we haven't unconnect. We haven't disconnected anyone, have we? No, we're okay. Right, and then you're going to connect out here. 
which I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to use as a regular straight. Perfect. Um, it looks a bit ugly, but I think we can do some stuff with it. I don't think we can do anything with it. I just think it is what it is, actually. Uh, it'll do. Okay, it's a big car park. It's a big boy. It'll it'll survive. Give me that to there. Give me that to there. And then what we're going to do, I'm going to move that power line. That's no longer a thing. What we're going to do is we're going to chuck potentially some buses out this way. So there's a car park for people to go to. We'll put in some bus services and bus stations. We've got some retail going on here. Right, you can see them plopping in back, back in now, which is fantastic. Uh, I don't... We didn't get bus services last time out, did we? No, it's under road, by the way. Right, it's road tolls, you beauty. Yeah, normally it's under roads, I think, isn't it? Public transport. Yeah, we don't have it yet. Uh, we will, but this will be an area where the public transport can sit in uh, and start off. I could back this real estate around that way too, couldn't I? How are you looking, electricity-wise, when I remove this? Are you going to have a problem? I'll do that. You sort of are. Okay, you can just have a little bit there. Uh, speaking of, water-wise we're okay. Power-wise, ooh. Okay. Just we haven't even put that. In. That's how much the industrial. Oh, the industrial's out of power. How are you? Come on, going really? How much is that going to rinse us now? Okay, let's get. Um, if that's the case, a foggy day doesn't help though. Uh, I'm going to crank the budget up for those just a little bit, up to that much as well. And the water can probably have a little bit more juice. Another ten percent. Now, it is going to increase how much we're paying, but look, we're doing okay, okay? We're doing all right. We're starting to take some nice shape, especially this downtown area. It's going to look really good with a nice big car park to it. We'll put in some little pathing sections here so people can actually walk between here, and I can do that now. Right, we can actually do that now. Uh, where did I find those paths? Man, I find the paths before, and then I lose them again. Was it under this? No. Was it under this? It was under this. Okay, just your old regular, regular path, thanks. And don't have the snapping on. Uh, in fact, I've got a better idea. If you just give me that. Right. The beauty about this is because it didn't want me to have it, I can just say, hey, no, I want that. That's where I'm having that. Sure, if you want to go there, and you're not going to let me have that, are you? Oh, you muppet of a thing. It is a... F when you're trying to do mod stuff, it is like a funny game like that. Okay, we can potentially go for here. Yeah. I want you that's where I want you in there and then you can come up to here right so that allows the people to walk through there I'm gonna put another one in now all right sometimes this is how you got to do it this is how you got to beat the game to get what you want I'm gonna put another one through here all right look at that and instantly we get a lot of foot traffic that can come in and around the buildings which you know should be a thing anyway but it's not um, and people walking up and down the car park that's not established yet. Uh, give me another path here, please. Right. 
Just like that. Lovely, isn't it? And now they've built that there, but that's okay because our path is actually here. Right. Cool. Cool bananas. B-A-N-A-N-A-S. Right. Uh, another path just here for me, please. You can hook up to that one. Just like that. Okay. And then, because we've got that, we've got these little hollow bits now. That's no biggie, gang. It's no biggie because we just get our little beautiful uh, decorative trees and all that kind of jazz. And we go, hey, ugly. You know it's not ugly? Trees and stuff. You know it's uh, ugly, though, when the game doesn't let you put the trees in that you want. So you're just like, hey, game do what I want. Why? Because mods. <laughs> right? And you get you get what I mean. Anyway, so that's how that takes shape and you start getting these in. We could put in little gazebo things. Put in. We could bosh in a bit of a bigger one here. But right? Okay. And then here you can put a little garden in. But look at that. People riding up and down. Don't you like it? Although we probably should put a path all the way up there for them. I'm not going to. I'm about to put car park in for these people. Right? Because why? Because get a car. Stop riding a bike. That's why. Stop. Stop riding bikes. And also, don't catch it. Don't catch the loser cruiser. <laughs> okay. I'm going to put some more disabled up this end. Like that. Okay. They might. It might flag through a little bit because it's a bit odd. Uh, I'm also going to put in some. We're going to put in the electric. The electric vehicles. Uh, yes, I know you've got that over there. You've got two-way. Electric can go here. We'll put uh, more disabled down the bottom end here. Okay. And then, because we've got these wonderful things in the middle... Ah, uh, I should have really gone like that, shouldn't I? Not to worry. We'll just put them like that. Right? Uh, and that's all I'm going to do. I'm going to leave the gaps up this end. And that's kind of like a car park in there. It comes up really well, don't you think? I think it does. It actually comes up really well. And then obviously I can throw in more decorations in and around these buildings to make it look right. But that's kind of what I'm thinking when it comes to down sound precinct areas, right? Um, couple that with the bus stop that will probably end up flashing in at some point as well. And it's going to be all good. But if you start to get a shape of this and this together, and then we start flashing up things like that, we'll see how this goes right now. I'll put in the road. Okay. Put in the road. I don't want more ways. I just want regular road, thanks. We'll see how this goes. It shouldn't be too difficult for the game, but I'm hoping, yeah, a couple of homes aren't going to like it that much. Uh, this is going to be what it is sometimes. Progress and such, right? So the homes will bounce back, we know. Do I have a home here? I'm going to put some more commerce just here, I think. Am I... Sure. You can have that whole square too. Right. And all of a sudden, we get this Welcome beautiful look here. Ray 60. <laughs> I forgot to. Sometimes when I'm recording, I forget to turn it off. Hey, thank, thanks for coming to subscribe, Dre 60. Hopefully, you're watching a bit of City Skylines at the moment. Welcome to the welcome to the hammer. Oh, Josh, there you go. But because it's raining, surely the fire just put it out. No, the fire brigade are there. Uh, surely the rain just put it out. Oh, look at that. The car park's coming a cropper right now. It's coming up gangbusters. I also want to put in a bit of a path up here. Let's do that before we go today, hey? Uh, next time out, we're going to be ever expanding. Uh, so we've got to start expanding again after this, but least you can see the upgrade oh, this rain oh, let's start trying to flash through this rain let's put this path in while the rain flashes away eh? i'm gonna have you and i'll put you in myself so handy little tips handy little mods if you ever want to do this yourself and you're figuring trying to figure out why can't i have a path up there 
That's how you do it, right? And of course I can then extend it all the way along here and stuff, but yeah, you get it. You get it? That's how it works in all of its glory. Come on, Rain, go away. And then obviously I'm going to have like this, uh, I was thinking some kind of like gated community here where it's a bit fenced off this estate in there, but I don't know how I feel about that. I might just use trees and stuff uh, and then see how it goes. That's not too bad. We're okay. We're still okay at the moment. Our town is at 1,943. I don't know the next mile. I can't remember the next milestone. It's been a long time, right? It's been a hot minute. Uh, I will go and look for football fields or what the go is when we get the actual football fields and stuff because that is, I kind of, I didn't want to fill that in today because that one there I did actually want as a pitch. Some kind of a pitch to go in there. Uh, as for this, look to more downtown stuff like this to come along this area. However, don't look to it too much. I probably won't do too much built up stuff on the main roads. The main roads will probably be get left as the main roads. But I think that if you, when all said and done, I mean, luckily we've put the, got the cloud mods in there because it's absolutely pouring, bucketing down today. When you think about it, that is like, I think it looks good. We've got a little dino out the back here. What are you doing, friend? Why have you got that there? I'm going to go ahead and upgrade all the um, the uh, downtown roads to proper roads. Oh, we lost our nice high-rise one there. Oh, that... No, no, no. You're not having that little thing. No, no. Give me back the high-rise one. <laughs> if you don't build it something decent, I'm going to blow it up. <laughs> That's a... No! Oh, well, you've only got a 4x4. Maybe I'll switch it out with something else. I really like the high rise on the corner. I thought it looked really good. Damn it, Ham. No, that's okay. Progress, right? Progress. Uh, I'm going to also, like I said, markings off. Yeah, that, is that marking? Yeah, we don't need we don't need all those markings on. In fact, that one can go too. I don't know which marking that. Which is this marking here? That one. Right, we just need one. We don't need to be inundated by zebra crossings everywhere. I think it's just tacky and unnecessary when they just keep plopping up everywhere. that up. Uh, you can have those because there will be four there eventually. Uh, we just need one. Like, I'm going to have to go around and probably do all these myself, but you get what I mean. Uh, yeah, just one there is fine. Right, people, that's where we do have a walkway there. And it just starts to make it look a little bit nicer. Uh, I just keep playing, don't I? Right. I'm trying to wait till the rain goes away. All right, so it took ages, about six minutes for the rain to stop, but we're finally here. The rain has stopped, and that is uh, that is where we're at for the day. While it was raining, I, I took the time to fix all this corner up after I blew it all up after changing the roads, but you get it. Look, we're making pretty good money. We're over $100,000 already in this playthrough. We're making pretty good money. We want to keep that progress. We don't want to be dipping down. We don't want to be um, doing badly. Remember, the premise of this is to make money and to make the city look good and work functionally and uh, look look kind of semi-realistic with a bit of ham twist on it. Anyway, gang, let me know what you think about this style of uh, thing we've got going on. Remember, uh, as we get through, I will potentially put, um, you know, bus stations in and stuff like that. Train stations will be coming through. I'm leaving, specifically re leaving room next to the motorways so we can probably run train lines. Um, and like I said, this motorway will probably come over the top of this roundabout with uh, with sort of off ramps that join up and come back on uh, and vice versa and, you know, all that kind of cool jazz. But if you start to look at this from an aerial perspective, like I said, you get the idea of what we're trying to accomplish here. A nice sort of urban, suburban. Think of this when we've got the football parks in, all these streets 
that'll get put in like nice streets here we'll get them all decorated up with tree line you know backdrops and stuff so they're all like it, it'll just come together and it'll start to just mesh really nicely right uh, we kind of got to get into resources and stuff too i wouldn't mind getting this farming and some tree logging stuff as well to get some of our own industries going in this place as well uh but yeah let me know what you think i think it's coming up really well this is a really busy intersection which kind of sucks and bites the bullet but it, we just have to it is what it is it's probably going to be a nightmare in the end so i might have to do a bit of um traffic maintenance at some point here i don't know how we're going to do it this here i'm absolutely totally okay for the residents to be able to have a way to get into the car park do their shopping that sort of stuff uh don't forget we've got mods on here like shopping more mod uh hotel resorts that sort of stuff too not mods they're like dlcs i guess they come you know they're bought dlcs so yeah um vegas smooth is uh you know it hasn't expanded today but what it's done is it's started to take steps towards the future thanks for joining me today gang uh that's it stay safe wherever you are stay glued to your screen please leave a like comment and if you haven't already subscribed there's like 76 percent of people that watch my content aren't subscribed that's 76 percent uh and the rest of you well, well firstly thanks for coming and stopping by anyway even if you aren't subbed love ha loves having you here and hope you enjoyed the content uh the rest of you thank you and i'll see you guys soon for some live streams as well we've got father's frontier anno 1800 and subnautica going on on our live streams at the moment uh so plenty to come on the channel Van Ham, stay safe wherever you are. Stay glued to your screen and get out of here.